Hello Cancer, welcome to your bonus love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Cancer, this is a collective love message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see, let's see Cancer. What do we have for you today? Important messages for Cancer, please. Okay. Reach out and listen. Let's clarify this energy for you, Cancer. Why reach out? Why we have reach out for Cancer, please? Why we have reach out for Cancer, please? We have a Queen of Pentacles. We have the Lovers. And we have Magician. So indeed, there is a big emphasis here. Uh, put on a communication at the bottom of the deck we have a ten of swords okay let's see so we have reached out and that energy is clarified by the queen of pentacles the lovers magician you might be dealing with gemini very strong gemini we have also we have uh virgo energy as well so far uh, for you here cancer well, you have someone here who wants to essentially reach out. Magician in this case represents communication. This is someone who is trying to manifest this communication, conversation, that act of reaching out to you. Um, and there is th this, this individual is trying to, uh, most importantly, this is someone who is trying to manifest connection with the lovers. They do have feelings. Queen of Pentacles, this is someone who sees your value. They know that you bring a lot to the table, that you have so much to offer and that you are very caring and very nurturing. This, You have someone here who really care. This person really cares about this connection. And it's like they want to bring more stability to the situation, but we have a Ten of Swords. And it feels very strongly that something happened between the two of you. And it might, it might be a case that for some of you, uh, something ended with regards to this connection or in this connection, or there is this kind of sense of betrayal. This person might have betrayed your trust, but 10 of, please take it how it resonates, but 10 of swords suggest that something here happened and it wasn't um, emotionally uh, an easy situation to, to kind of handle, I feel it was it was quite difficult because ten of swords it's a very very challenging energy so we have someone here who wants to i'm getting quite strongly cancer they do want to express their feelings this is someone who wants to tell you that they care about you that they want this connection that they want to be with you with the lovers reaching out and magician and they will try very hard this is someone who will try everything to kind of have this conversation uh, because they want to be here out. This is someone who, this person wants you to, they have something to say at the, and they want you to listen. You know, it's like they really want to kind of put their point across or explain something. I'm getting very strongly that this person here wants to explain something there is a, or there is a need for them to explain and maybe that kind of energy of Ten of Swords. I feel that there was a certain situation happened in this connection that uh, caused emotional disappointment and dissatisfaction. And there is this sense of betrayal. And, you know, I feel that it was very difficult to overcome it because a Ten of Swords, it's again, it's a challenging energy. It's not easy. But um, this person feels that they, they need to talk. With the listen card as an overall energy, I feel very strongly here. It can say that um, you are very intuitive. You are very intuitive in general. Uh, but um, 
it's like I feel that you should listen to your emotions and your intuition, especially emotions. Uh, and this again, it's like when they will reach out, it's like how you feel about the situation. Do you feel if this person is telling the truth or, you know, you have some sort of concerns? Something like this they're giving me. But this person wants to talk. For some of you, it might be an ex, doesn't have to be, but it can be, for instance, someone that you are involved with, something happened and it, and it kind of had this energy of Ten of Swords that it was really disappointing. And for some of you, you might feel, okay, I'm, I'm done with it. I don't want to, you know, uh, have anything to do with this person because they said something or they reacted in a certain way or they handled the situation in, in a not particularly, you know, uh, great way essentially so this ten of swords can represent many things here but let's see let's see cancer let's see could you please show me this person's energy and feelings towards cancer and disconnection please six of cups mm -hmm. seven of cups there will be a progress they will reach out oh gosh we have the devil we have a page of cups this person is obsessing over you cancer ace of pentacles Show me this person's energy and feelings towards cancer and disconnection, please. Mm -mm. And we have the death card. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have a knight of swords. This is um, that energy represents someone who really wants to rush in in order to kind of express something. Okay, they feel that something here needs to be addressed. Knight of Swords is also energy of a chaser. So this person here is ready to chase you in order to have this conversation, in, in order to have opportunity to talk to you. They want to reach out without a doubt. We have a Six of Cups here. This is energy of the past. For some of you, indeed, this is someone with whom you might share history with or like you were a rem rem romantically involved with for some of you it might be a case that you are uh, co that we are connecting this reading with your ex but again it doesn't have to be six of cups though represent an energy of reconciliation coming back together the past energy that wants to resurface itself again and um, this person is very very nostalgic about the situation it's like they're missing you here and they really want to kind of, um, they're rem reminiscing about the past and good kind of, you know, moments that both of you shared with each other in this, in this connection. This person uh, really kind of, uh, they really want to make a move and they will because we have this chaser, so they will. This person will do everything in order for you to forgive them. That's what I am getting. Because they want to be listened to. They want to, it's like they want you to listen to what they're about to say. They want to reach out. They have the lovers. They want to express their feelings. They, this is someone who kind of wants to express that you mean a lot to them. You know, cancer. And with the six of cups, this person really wants to be present in your life. They want to come back to you. They want to be with you. They want to reconnect. They want to get back together. They want to reconcile. Just please take it how it resonates for your personal situation. But there is something about them um, being, you know, with you or in your life. And this ten of swords suggests that something ended between the two of you. And why I feel that way? Because we have a six of cups and six of cups excuse me, in this case, suggest that this person really wants to come back and they want to make amends. And they will because we have a six to the seven, which is progress. 
so they will take action in order to achieve it but we have a seven of cups and the devil next to the page of cups here is the thing i feel that you, you are dealing here with someone who's very good of with regards to kind of you know giving it's like maybe they are great of making a first impression but there is something about them making promises and not be a, and kind of like they, this person is not able at the same time to fully deliver on them this is that kind of energy on unfulfilled promises but at the same time this person doesn't want to give up on you with the with with the devil they are already attached they want you cancer and that's it but seven of cups with the devil there is something about them that they are unable to fully kind of give you what you truly deserve and i'm going to be honest here for some of you for some of you it might be a case that this person has different or like other responsibilities and they can't be fully kind of present in your life but at the same time i feel that this person is kind of promising here you things and and they are not delivering on that if that's what happened in the past cancer this person is coming with the same energy and i have to be honest with you but it feels like you know this is someone who will not give up on the idea of of being you know present in your life uh, being with you or you know trying to be closer to you uh, this person here it's 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 obsessing they are stuck on you but at the same time it's like i feel that because of their personality and maybe because they are the way they handle the situation it's like with the seven of cups <laughs> they brought so much uncertainty and confusion to the situation it's like an energy of illusion it's like this person is telling you that they, you, we will do this oh yes we will do that and nothing really kind of manifested mm. you have someone here who's very skillful with their words but it's like <sighs> They made you feel that you are an option, not a priority. And they knew exactly what they were doing. But at the same time, it's like this person, there is something about you that they can't move on. You know, they can't just leave the situation like this. And I feel this person has feelings for you, but there is something about them not being fully transparent, having questionable relationship with the truth. And I feel this person lied or they, they hide something, some sort of form of the truth in front of you. And maybe this, this is where things kind of got really complicated and Ten of Swords suggest that things ended between the two of you because of this person's approach, because they are showing up as the one who are going to make that effort in order to reach out and have this reconciliation because they want to be with you. You see this page of cups suggests that this person will send you a message, but it will be like a message of affection. It will be very nice. It's like they will try to make an impression on you that they have pure intentions. But next to this card is that, you know, Oh gosh, there is this saying, uh, hell is paved by good intentions, right? It's, uh, I, it, it's like this person is restricted with their actions regarding the situation or connection. It feels like this person is unable to take this connection into the next level. And it is because of their circumstances, their lifestyle. We have an Ace of Pentacles here and the Death Cut. You might be dealing with Capricorn. We have Scorpio, uh, Cancer, but um, they're coming here with an offer. <laughs> an offer here to talk about this ending that happened between the two of you. But there is something here about them telling you that they've changed, that they've realized things, or that something might have changed in their life. 
and now they are able to kind of come forward with with that with that ace of pentacles with that solid offer offer of stability but this is someone here who will tell you that something might have changed in their life or that they have changed and it's like they are now able to kind of make that offer hmm, interesting let's see cancer let's see your energy could you please show me cancer's energy towards this person and this connection please you please show me cancer's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection please okay so we're starting with the strong energy we have a tower cancer's energy towards this person and this connection please nine of swords page of pentacles Ace of Wands, Chariot, and the Six of Wands. We have a judgment at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so you might be dealing indeed. We have a very strong Scorpio. We also have Aries energy and your energy as well. So Cancerian energy with the Chariot. So you might be dealing also with another another cancer. We have the tower to the nine of swords. Uh, this is someone who brought so much chaos to your love life. And with the nine of swords, I feel that you know you've been through a lot regarding this situation. There were so many sleepless nights. This, I feel that this whole situation and this person gave you a headache. And something here really, really kind of uh, that tower brought uncomfortable change and it was sudden, it was unexpected and it was shocking and it brought chaos to the situation. Mm -hmm. We have a page of pentacles, we have an ace of wands, the chariot and a six of wands and that's a beautiful energy because after this very particularly difficult situation, I see you, it's like you picked yourself up, cancer and... Um, you are in a very very strong position here to have a chariot with the six of wands it's it's like you know having a jackpot um because that suggests that you are very very powerful i feel that you took back control and you are taking back control you are in your element here and there is something here about you attracting good luck good fortune but success uh, triumph and you know personal satisfaction with regards to many areas of your life i'm getting I'm, I'm seeing you being very strong full of courage and it's like you are not afraid of anything because that situation was so difficult that actually it kind of i'm getting very strongly that you might be coming from the place it made me stronger it made me really really stronger we have a judgment as an overall energy for your reading yes it feels very strongly that this person wants to come back because judgment also represents that major energy of the past. This person wants to resurrect something with you. But when I look at your energy, Cancer, and it might not resonate with all of you, for some of you, I'm getting very strongly that at some point when this person will reach out, you, would, you will kind of feel that you need to make a decision to kind of, um, in order to maybe, you know, take this person back or to be in relationship with them, or to kind of choose another path and what i am seeing here with this page of pentacles um with the with the ace of wands a chariot and a six of wands i'm getting a lot of you might might indeed choose another path mm -hmm. and for some of you my you might essentially kind of i feel that you are ready to listen to this person but it's like, because the Ace of Wands with the Chariot and the Six of Wands is also all about moving on and leaving past in the past because we are focusing on you 
Ace of Wands, for some of you might have already met someone new or you're about to meet a new person with the Page of Pentacles and it will start very casual with this new person but it will give you an opportunity fully moved on from that energy and actually with the Chariot and the Six of Wands that connection can you know evolve into something really kind of success what I mean is that th that new connection can uh, be a successful one you know and it might be a case that because of what you've been through and you haven't forgotten about it because we have this energy in your part of the reading so it feels like you are remember about this uh, you might indeed kind of decide that and I see you being very kind of knowing exactly that is what you want it's like this person will not be able to change your mind you know I see you being very assertive and knowing exactly what is right for you and I see for a lot of you uh, you might indeed choose a new path there is something about focusing on the future we have this beautiful full of action um, and creativity and just um, full of passion new beginning it's like for some of you might feel an edge that I really want to move on I did the work and now I took back control I am in my element and what I want I, I want I have goals with the six of ones I want to achieve things I want to have a successful relationship and and I am just focusing on the new if for, for some of you if you want reconciliation with this person because I can see that also with the judgment as it is in your energy that you that for some of you might kind of willing to give this person um, to listen to them and maybe even within time give them another chance I see you being in touch with them um, it's like um, I'm getting that when they will show up you might kind of um, again that's the one thing that hasn't changed irrespective of you know what sort of path you're going to choose cancer I see you being very 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 courageous and f full of strength and it's like um, I'm seeing you being very proud keeping your head head high and it's like I this time I'm not going to compromise on a certain things and I feel that when this person will approach you and try to confess you know their feelings and be very very kind of lovey-dovey with you I feel that you might even say listen don't expect much from me we can be friends and we can see how it will evolve uh, you know within time but I don't see you you know taking this person back immediately no but I don't but at the same time for, for for some of you if you want reconciliation with this person or like a start over I see that that opportunity and possibility yes only if you have a wish so let's see the outcome could you please show me the outcome for this connection? So we have a seven of wands. We have ace of swords. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's this assertive energy. And nine, queen of swords and nine of, yeah, this person is coming with an apology. Look what it's showing you. Um, nine of wands overall energy we have a four of swords at the moment there might be no contact situation between the two of you because four of swords is this energy of you know it's a very passive energy uh, it feels like nothing is happening at the moment in this connection I feel that you're trying to heal still it's like you are healing from it but it's like you are at the end of that process because I see you being incredibly powerful in your outcome here we have a seven of wands this is someone who will be very determined to prove it to you that they've really changed okay they will they will not give up on this connection um ace of swords this is a communication it's like this person wants to clear the air with you uh, this is also a triumph of truth um it's like honest kind of heart to heart maybe even face-to-face -face conversation 
that it's showing up, it will take place. This person will insist on communication or meeting with you. They will insist to meet up. Mm -hmm. On your side, excuse me, on your side we have a Queen of Swords and Nine of Wands. You don't trust this person. And that's the, and that's the thing. Because Nine of Wands is that kind of energy. I've seen there, I've been there. And I've experienced this and I don't want to be put once again in that sort of situation. No, no. I feel that when this person will insist on communication with the Queen of Swords, you, because Queen of Swords, it's open to kind of listen to people, what they want to tell her. But <laughs> the thing with this energy is that person who wants to talk with the Queen of Swords, they need to come with integrity, honesty, and with no BS, because Queen of Swords is very, 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 um, she's very good regarding spotting, you know, when something might be off or when someone is just, you know, full of it, essentially. So I see if this person will insist on communication, I see you kind of accepting this. You might say, okay, let's meet up or let's have this conversation, whatever the case might be. But with the Nine of Wands, mm, I feel that you will have your guard up. You will listen exactly what this person is saying to you. You will pay attention to detail. And then, and yeah, and you'll be cautious here what they are telling you. But I see this conversation taking place in, indeed. Four of Swords is an overall energy. As I mentioned before, it feels like at the moment there might be no contact situation. You might be at the end of, of this healing process regarding what this person put you through, but it's it's the end. So it's like, you know, you are, I see you being very powerful, very powerful and in your element again. Um, but four of swords also, yeah, th this is like a passive energy. And what I am getting here is that I don't see a much change regarding this whole matter. And it feels like this person will really try to convince you that they've changed, that they went through some sort of transformation, that they truly care. And it might be something to do with those circumstances that they might feel stuck in or kind of, you know, they feel trapped. Uh, but Four of Swords suggests here that, you know, This is energy of no action. It's like nothing is happening, nothing is changing. And it's, it's, what I am getting here is that they are stuck on you, this, this person, but at the same time, it's like they are, What I am getting here, Cancer, is that this person is still unable to deliver on their promises. But they will try. They will try because they don't want you to move on from them. They don't want you to leave them behind. And um, it feels quite strongly here that maybe time is very, need very much needed for this connection and it's like I feel that it is very important for you to not rush into things to actually take a step back in order to rethink and reevaluate to th this whole matter even if you want to take you know take this person back or even if you want this rec reconciliation to happen there is something about you not a kind of, you know, welcoming this person immediately back to your life. And it might be quite crucial for the situation. Nevertheless, you have someone here who's thinking about you 24 seven and they will reach out because they want to be with you. So you can expect some sort of kind of uh, movement from, from this person movement with regards to the situation but they will reach out there will be a progress but overall regarding this whole situation it's like spirit is advising you to take things very very slowly 
because it will be very beneficial for the whole situation. And it also kind of will help you to look at the situation from a completely different perspective. Mm -hmm. Cancer. I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Cancer, have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I'm sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.